Hey guys, what's going on here? I'll go ahead and do some shout-outs here. Just getting a few last things here on stream. We're ready. Uh, making sure all of my stuff is in order. Uh, but anyway, yes, we are moving that way. So anyway, good no, almost a good morning, good evening to you guys. are doing well. Uh, and any ladies that may be out there, you can see everybody here in the chat. You can see some guys here early. Trying to stop in a little bit so I'll tell you guys, hey, uh, early here with what was going on. What's up, Chris? There, it's got a new truck there, courtesy on our last giveaway. So, grant there again to Chris. Hope you're enjoying it. Lexi, you can see us got Judge. We got Minna Mayhem. Cameron in the house. Great. You can see there, great. We got Buddy Courtney in here. Brian Sander this speaking. We got Husker. We got Ski Meister. Awesome truck. You can see you guys. We got Mark Jason Burke, uh, Mike to the grass, if you guys are doing wood. And we'll see, hey, let me let me finish this up part right here. And then we'll go ahead and move it over to the other one. All right, let me pull some music down. And... Yeah. There we are. What's up, everybody? Oh, just like that. All right, good to see everybody. Uh, I love, uh, let's see, where, where, where I got to find on where it was. Good comment of the night, Michael Harris. Comment, man. Wait a minute, is it your comment? Hang on, I'm gonna lose it here. No, it was Mark Pfeiffer's. Ghost Rider passed out in the bed of poison ivy. <laughs> That's good, man. That's the comment of the night right there. Curtis, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, we got Clark 387 Gaming in here. Hello, 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 hello. Let me get to uh, scroll down here a little bit here. Uh, with Josh Taylor, what's going on there? Mia, good to see you there. Dylan, good to see you as well as King94. James, uh, we got Austin up in the house. Also, Griffin Scott, good to see you, man. The voice is low. Whoa. Should be a little bit better now. Should be a little bit. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of clipping that I experienced during stream. But anyway, Alexis, what's up? Have heard her symbol? I'm sorry. Hey, happy Labor Day. Hope you're doing well. Alex, good to see you there. Ronald as well. Raj, good to see you, man. Do I buy all my mods? No, because we are looking at all Steam Workshop stuff today. Jazz hands, everybody. Steam Workshop, all free. And there's no links because they're all in the Steam Workshop. Every single one of them. This is a great day, man. Great day. Nathan Allen got a tattoo, everybody. It's probably a picture of a sun over his belly button. Uh, Cascadia, no, it's actually in the title. Close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little better, man. It's a little uh, tiring weekend, man. It, good to have a little bit of a break, although under any circumstances, but yes. Uh, yes, good, good to have a little break. But I'm kind of... <sighs> We're in it to win it, man. We're in it to win it. It's just, it's just, it's so... Man. Luke, I'm good, man. What's up there, Nick? How are you, man? Are you doing well? Soon as I get the PC, I hear you, dude. 30 seconds, man. 93 already in the house. So thank you guys for showing. Make sure you like. Seriously, just just take your finger, and there's a little button with a thumbs up, and just whoop, push it. Seriously, it's all it takes, man. That's right. We're in the LT. Woo! Actually, it's the Pro Star. Thumb nail. Well, I've got a 475 gear score on the engine there, Nick. And we are running a triple piece of Goodyear. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Uh, what is that on Steam? Uh, the whole truck, yes. The LT's on uh, Steam. Uh, the trailer that you're going to see is on Steam. The uh, skins that you're going to see is on Steam. So, yes, the whole shebang. So, Ashley Davis, all the way from Australia, man. Good to see you there. Yeah, Mike, we playing with the plaster rig today, man. It's all right. It's good, man. It's good to have these fleet nights, man, because some people really like the role play of ATS. Um, so, sometimes it's not all about the 389 or the 379. You see a lot more of the plastic rigs on the road actually moving goods from place to place than you do any of the iron rigs. So um, it's kind of like it's kind of like classic cars versus your average day Freightliner Transit or your Ford Transit, the Sprinter. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. You know, these these trucks move a ton of goods uh, all over the country. So I don't know the last time I saw a stretch long frame 389 sitting in Walmart, but I'll look next time. Ah, just kidding. Don't give me that ain't no real truck. It's a real truck. You can drive it. All right, 50 seconds, we'll be back. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right. There we are. So everybody's in. Yes, wave it. Where where am I? Where am I? I thought I had this. Let me uh let me get me. Now y'all so what y'all wanted to see was was me. Though we didn't want themes. Hang on. Let's let's get me over there. Where 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 is me? There there's me. All right, there I am. Okay, me anyway. Okay, now I think we're uh I think we're good now. All right. Uh Grave, what's up, man? The unbreakable. <laughs> We're going to get that quick fix, that slash fix attribute added on to the truck. So we're actually talking about a little bit of uh, some division. We've been playing a little bit of division at nights and been fun kind of playing something new. So we may even get me and uh, we might even get the, the crew and maybe actually do some streaming at night. Randoms like random stuff. We could Greg does some streaming on there as well. I don't know. We, we may just kind of bounce over and do some random stuff on Twitch. So if you're following me on Twitch, do that. If you if you're not, no biggie. If you like trucks, I'm not going to do any trucking over there. Just going to kind of like play our funky stuff over there that uh, might be okay. Um, and that may that may be once in a blue moon. But anyway, if you want to come say something, please do. Um, so, yes. Uh, don't see what? Yes, the International LT. It's under the recents. I promise you. This truck is on the workshop. It is brand new onto the workshop. It's one of the most popular trucks whoops, out there. Uh, as well as the 3000R, 4000R composite uh, tracks. I mean, composite. The composite trailer is on Steam Workshop as well, as well as a skin pack for that one um, also. So you just have to do some digging, and you have to go further than one page in the workshop, and you'll see and start to see some of these things uh, as well. So um, it's all there. So it's good. Uh, it's not a pro star. It's an LT. We already had this discussion. Polly, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Uh, Merck, good to see you, man. Thank you there. Appreciate you guys on the, uh, the sponsorship, man. Appreciate all the nice comments. Uh, and compliments you guys paid on the comments of that video, man. It's much appreciated. Um, I hope that uh, I hope that's good for us, the you, the channel. Uh, I hope that's just good for everybody. Um, so they're they're really making a good stab to getting into the market. They were with uh, Pax West over with SES this weekend, so that's really cool. So hopefully that means maybe some cool things just going on here from SES, some good growth, or I don't know what that means, but I'm I'm just excited to be a part of it. So it's going to be it's going to be good. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, no tarmacs uh, for right now. Uh, we're uh, just kind of running that stuff in the background. Um, so I've kind of even turned off the automatic announcements and all that stuff just so we could just kind of like run through here. Um, and I can at least see all of the stuff here on, on chat. So anyway, yeah, man, what's up there, Jeff? Can see that Josh Plasky as well. Um, <clears throat> never know. Yeah, I don't know if that made sense. Uh, any more farming sim? Potentially, Connor. Uh, the problem is when I do new games that you guys want to do, the ones that actually want me to do those games, they never show up. It's uh, it's quite a conundrum, and neither do anyone else that want to see it either. Um, so, yeah, so if you want to do it, you like you have to show up for them and, and watch them and like them and all that other good stuff. And um, it's a little frustrating to have like a, a lot of people in chat say, like, you know, one night we had 200 or something in here, and then everyone's like, oh, my God, do Dirt Rally, do Dirt Rally. It'd be awesome. And it did, and it was like 400 views. So <laughs> maybe it was the 200 that were in chat. I don't know. I, I'm not blaming anybody. Just say It's what it is. Anyway, Nathan, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the sexy truck. Uh, Coast Coast, yes, Shelton. It is still working, although this truck has an issue with it. Um, we will talk about that just a little um here, oh, we've already got it running. I didn't mean to have it running. All right, so we'll go ahead. We'll run on over here. So here, whoops. Let's, let's go back here. So here's what we got. We got the now. This is the international LT. There's an argument. I had to do it last time. We did a Pro Star. It's actually the LT, and it is labeled in the workshop as the LT. You can see it right here on the corner, right there on the fender. It's an LT International. Uh, it is taken over and superseded the Pro Star. This was the Pro Star, but they superseded it with the LT, which is the same exact truck. It's just called something different now. So, anyway, yeah, facelift the Pro Star. It's exactly what it is. So, anyway, computer man, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> Fudgy, uh, sorry, I need help, man. Uh, like the truck, please give me a comment. Well, thank you there, Jake. Appreciate that, man. Um, this is what else we have in here. Yeah, and there, yeah, and it's no, there's only one in the Steam Workshop. So, anyway, we are in Seattle. I wanted to drive a little bit in Washington just because we have not been up here in a while. We've been on coast to coast on the East Coast. Um, so we, we potentially may filter over somewhere over there. I, I like the East Coast, but I don't do anywhere else on coast to coast. Uh, but for the time being, we'll um, hang around here. So we've got a fleet night here, 53-footer. Uh, this is the utility. Uh, they've got a 3,000R um, 
uh, reefer, and they also have um, the 4000R composite trailer. So this 4000, although this trailer's in the Steam Workshop, it still works. Um, after it works good, it still works. The skins, it's got a skins pack on the Steam Workshop as well. So that's where the Averitt skin came from for that particular style of trailer. And also the Averitt skin uh, is also in, um, in the Steam Workshop as well. So if you just type in International LT, you'll see all the skins. You'll see this one and also has a regular combo trailer for the standards. So if you just want to roll a standard reefer or a standard something, you can find all that stuff in the first couple pages there with just a simple search for two keywords uh, here on the Steam Workshop. So anyway, let's get going. We are going to Colville, I believe is what we're doing, um, I think. And this thing sounds absolutely amazing, but... We've got an issue with a sound file in here, and I don't know if it's showing or not. Um, so this one actually has, um, let's see if I can go up and see if it does. That's all Mexico stuff, it doesn't matter. Uh, so probably once, once we crank up. Anyway, this thing has got some sounds in stereo, and ATS does not like things in stereo. So you will probably be filtering up some warnings if you drive this truck. So hopefully those things get taken care of pretty quick. So uh, what's up there, Brian? How are you, buddy? North of Togam. Yeah, I'll, well, I guess. Well, people got mad because I, well, I ain't got mad, but I was wearing some white socks and they didn't like the white socks. So I've got my black socks back in so you can, you can see black feet. What? You can see a right knee there if you want to see that. Peace, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't... I don't use any settings, man. I just, I just run, I just run it regular. I don't, I don't, I don't really do anything to it, man. To be honest with you, I really don't. All right, so let's go ahead and take off. Here we go. What up there, Steph? Andrew, what's up, man? How are you? So Andrew, I saw on Twitter, dude, and I totally forgot to give you a like and retweet you, man. Thank you there, Wolf. What's up, man? Keep the video rolling. LOL. Have fun. Well, I will. And insinuates you're leaving, so that's how I'm skipped. <laughs> My bad. Wow, man, come on, Nick. <clears throat> yeah, so that's nah, alright, man. So Andrew's, uh, Andrew's doing a little stream with himself, which I was uh, surprised and happy to see it. So Andrew's got him a YouTube channel. Don't click on that. Throw, throw Andrew a couple subs. Go check out. He's got some World of... Uh, I think he did World of Warships out. I think. But Andrew's been a big, long-time supporter here of this channel. Uh, as you can see, if you put your uh, mouse over his uh, his emblem there. Uh, working on two years quick. So, uh, whoops, as we stall out here in the middle of Seattle. Um, so he has been supporting here for a while. So at least I can do, man, is give him a, a proper shout-out. So good to see you there, but Andrew. We we're going to pick up our stuff. Hopefully, our load's still there. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to pick up. Let's see. Yeah, it'll tell me when I get here, I guess. You thought I should know that by now. <laughs> oh, this truck sounds so stinking good. Lord, it sounds great. Rocky Rockstar. I, I, I just need to do a video, man. I just need to be, do a video on it. Simple. Really quick, if you know how to change up your game config files, go into profiles, look for your um, config local, change the one by steering wheel to a zero, save it, and go back in game, and your steering wheel will be, will be gone. All right, so we're taking some nuts. We're taking a, uh, we'll take a pile full of streamer fans here. We got 137 nuts in live stream, so we'll just take you guys to Colville with us. <laughs> I didn't know you ever left, Nathan. Good to see you there, by the way, man. Yeah, Kona is it. Listen, man, Coast to Coast is free, so why not get it? You know what? That's what I'm saying. It's Coast to Coast is free. It doesn't cost you anything, so you might as well just go try it out and then see what you think. Hey there, Alex Kripner with a nice sub. Appreciate that, Alex. Now 
always screw this part up. I always hit these things. Probably would have taken the mirror off there, but it's all right. It might get a little close, man. Sure does. Sandra Lee, thank you there. Xander, appreciate it, guys. Mr. Emails. All right, so we've got, it's always some tricky parts. So we got uh, 40,000 pounds of nuts in our dry van, non insulated trailer. So I'll get you some uh, once we get out of here. Let's see. I'll get you some. Uh, actually, you know what? We're probably going to have to go this way. This is what I hate about this part. What's up, Brian? Chris L., what's going on? Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, do y'all send, did they send you trucks? Do y'all send y'all down, uh, send y'all down trucking lanes like this in IRL? Just curious. You wanted to go through the TV, but it won't. If you're on computer, you'll need to make sure you set up your audio out. So you'll need to right click on your speaker icon and you'll want to make sure that you turn it to make it say whatever your TV, TV is. If you got a Samsung, it'll say a Samsung and a bunch of letters and numbers. So make sure you set it from inside the computer. Hey, your wife said no computer. <laughs> she was like, yeah, I saw what you did, the FTG guy, man. No, nope, ain't doing it, Andrew. <laughs> hey, man, you know what, Andrew? That's where I... Uh, that's where I started out with. I uh, started out on PS4, man. So who knows, man? PS4 might uh, you might you might catch that bug, man. I met a lot of good people, man, in those PS4 days. A lot of good people. Oh, nice, Chris. You like it, man? I'm really hoping to try to get on the ball here. We had an issue with my server, and I don't know if the server itself, I think, has just kind of went kaput. Um, so I'm hoping that we can get that fixed the next couple days and get some massive multiplayer. Well, that worked out extremely well to get the green light there. We can do some massive red flash multiplayer um, on uh, on that server, man. So you, you think it's funny watching me this, man. You, you guys haven't seen nothing until somebody takes me out. You see the, the ruthless of FTGs can come out. Love this truck, man. It's such a smooth truck, man. I don't know. We're, we're hauling, we'll say we're hauling chat, Dylan. How about that? It's kind of we're hauling the, the nuts in chat. Um, Louisiana, I'm not sure, man. I just get it from the mod dealer. How is my camera moving? What you mean? Uh, inside in here? Is that what you mean? Yeah. No more title base in the man. Yeah, so that's the setting in uh, your gameplay settings. Hey, what's up, 
Captain J. Cap. Well, thank you there, buddy. Happy Labor Day to all you guys. Here I am laboring on Labor Day. Not really. Good shot of the uh, good shot of the city there as we. Uh, I will say views like that make ATS worth driving every now and again. So that's a good one. trim on it looks uh, super snazzy I know man it's a good one I even got super singles in the back check that mess out look at that man freaking bomb tires in the back man of course now one if you blow one you lost it all but you know they don't really run too many super singles on the rears you know as the solid but they did for a while and yeah, it became like the, the newest latest greatest thing to put on the truck Oh, I want some. We give some of them super wide tires, and then one blew out in the in 
the freeway and they're like, yeah, so I'll take my doubles back. Ah, uh, the horn. There you go, man. And I moved my, uh, moved my cam up there so now you guys can see a full trailer in the shot. Go win for me. Yeah, stupid singles. Well, it's a game, so... Yeah. But I, I can understand why. But, uh, yeah, see, if any of you guys dislike the video, here's a number you can call. You can call 202-358-0001. Someone call that. I'm going to leave it on there. Someone call that and tell me if anybody picks up. Because if Averitt calls, if Averitt picks up, I'm going to I'm going to flip out. They put the real number on there. That's <laughs> uh, a flea horn. You're right, Mike. <laughs> Raphael for later. What's up, man? Peace. Uh, yes, this is part of Washington. We are uh, past Seattle. Sad panel, what's up, buddy? Rob? Rob Skowski, what's up, man? Yeah, they're like drag slicks. Yeah, I can imagine, man. They're still cool to look at. You know what I mean? They're still cool to look at. Oh, they just saw what I was live, and it was like, oh, look, FTG's live. Huh. Man, just like. I mean, honestly, dude, YouTube doesn't care. YouTube, it's more or less for my pride. That's what it is. YouTube's like, oh, look, someone interacted positively or negatively on the video. That's great. We'll make sure this video sees more people now that someone's interacted with this channel. Take it all with a grain of salt, man. <laughs> Max says, read the number again. 202-358-0001. Retirement? What? You know, Anthony, the only time you show up is when I'm driving a plastic truck. I'm fixing to call a conspiracy on that, man. I'm fixing to call a conspiracy on that. I'm beginning to think something's up, man. Thumbs up or down are good things. I don't care. They're like, oh, look, someone watched the video and actually gave a reaction to it. That must be good. That means advertisers. Uh, well, it's not Logitech fix. It's Thrustmaster. But yes, so far, I guess good. We're just like literally a week and a half into things. So uh, I've got handbrakes over there. I've got Sparco wheels here and bases and pedals there. I've got two more wheels on the floor. So yeah, man. Uh, things so far are good, man. Oh, you're done driving for the year. Uh, okay. Uh, Jacob, I missed your question, man. Thank you there. Oh, yeah, we've got a couple of sounds. Thank you, Sandra Lee. Rev Train 97. Max and Nate Amber Silver. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to say who it was. Did anyone answer? Did anyone answer? That's the hilarious man. There's a real number on there. First Master Skin? I could probably I could probably have some like legit stickers made. But honestly, this rig's got so much uh, Semitic stuff on there. It's... Oops, not that one. Uh, it doesn't have an air horn. They've silenced the air horn. Alright, peace out there, Josh. Have a good buddy. Dance for some good though. It's funny, man. Yes. Yeah, we got four characters to fill up. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear the Camaro? Yeah, certainly, Bryce. People always want to see the outside, so I was just trying to... I was trying to give the people what they wanted, a little, uh, little action there on the front side of the video. Here we go. So it's a 
it's uh, pretty nice. We've we've got a nice uh, nice dash system here. Turn signals, air supplies. And then back here, you'll see that we have. Oh, sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> actually a serious question now here's the kicker <laughs> you know what I'm gonna get you back Anthony it's gonna cost a lot more than four dollars to get me in a real truck tonight <laughs> I'm just kidding man I'm just kidding I can kid with Anthony that way I've never had a viewer ride me so hard wait wait no wait a minute no, 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 no. I didn't mean that the way that came out NASA in Washington and the answer machine picked up. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh man, y'all are killing me tonight. Hey, let's go to the scenic view. What's the scenic view? Y'all yeah, we'll go see the scenic view? What is the scenic view up here? Let's go see. Anyway, back to scary. Yeah, that's right. Scary game. No stop. Let's take the nuts up to the top of the hill and see what happens when we throw them down. Thank you there, Abby Collie Racing. Thank you there, and Andrew James. Do work. Andrew drives a. Andrew was driving a Boss Regan. And... <laughs> Litter, what's up, my bros? Alright, so we're going to top of the scenic view. I'm not sure what's up here. So we'll find out, everybody. What's up here? Heads up, everybody. We're coming through some sightseeing. We got a delivery of nuts up here for the scenic view. Oh, boo. I thought it was going to be good. Yeah, well, I was actually thinking that, you know what we ought to do? We ought to show what do you think of there, Sean. Appreciate the sub, man. You know what we ought to do? Seriously, we ought to take and do so. Okay. So let me, um... The truck jug oh Jughead, you were gonna love me. This is a freebie. This one, my dear friend, is on the Steam Workshop. International LT, my friend. So I'm gonna leave this idling right here for just a minute, and I'm gonna talk in the chat for just a hot quick second here. We're actually gonna let's all custom sounds on this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so Michael Harris, my calls your driver real big truck. <laughs> Uh, real big truck? I don't know. But it's, <laughs> it's a scary game. Okay, so how many in chat remember when I did the Beast gameplay? It was a really freaky movie, like a, not a movie, but like a movie game. It's got a bunch of jump scare and a bunch of stuff like that. How many, if you were here in the channel, when? Let me know if you saw that by putting a one in chat or something like that. Jacob Jordan, thank you there. Appreciate it, man. I know Andrew was there. I'm, I'm gonna have to go because we got people there. And then also, thank you there to Michael Harris. Appreciate it, buddy. Again, man. Yeah, there was probably a lot of people that weren't. Gary, I don't know. I don't think, but I don't know. Honestly. All right, so on my channel, like way back in the depths of the channel, like about a year ago, this is before any a ATS happened. So these would be guys that would be original with the channel. Um, so we did a game called The Beast, and it's uh, just an absolute ridiculously scary movie game. And uh, so we did that and played out the game on the stream. So what I'm thinking, I'm literally thinking, we might even be able to get some, uh, might be able to pull some guys in, some buddies of mine, and do like some kind of like a, a little bit of a watch together-ish type deal um, to where we can kind of all react to stuff going on maybe in a little bit as close to real time as possible, but I don't know. We'll have to, 
I have to see how that can work. But anyway, maybe that's something we could throw up on the Twitch, dude, and just stream the whole entire game on there. And that way, people that want to come watch it, dude, can just come watch it. But dude, that was... That, that would actually be... That, I'm actually thinking that would be a good idea. Oh, Gold Rush game. Yeah, well, this would have been probably right after Gold Rush. More likely. All right, back on the road. Here we go. You might have been, Anthony. You've been around for quite a while. Um, we only did the one because they only had one episode. So we only did the one episode and that was it. But it was stinking worth it, man. Jason's Place, what's up, man? Howdy, what's up there, Elu? How are you, buddy? Hope you guys are doing well. Good to see everybody in chat tonight. It's good for a Monday night, man. You guys are y'all come out strong for a uh, come out strong for a fleet night. Usually these aren't don't do very well, so thumbs up to you guys for coming and hanging out with me, man. Been working on the stream a little bit, trying to get the frames and everything kind of squared back around, so hopefully everything looks a lot more uh, a little bit more colorful and smooth what I'm going for. I will say if you guys are having some issues with uh, particular mods uh, or if you feel like the game is performing sluggishly, um, what I would suggest doing is getting rid of all of the mods that alter your graphics and textures in the game and then try your game out and see how good it runs after that. So I'll probably cut my GPU usage down by 25% by taking all of those graphic mods and the game runs smoother and cleaner and leaner than probably has in months. So he's coming over, Andy. He's coming over. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey, Nick, what's up, man? Well, hey, take it out, you can get it right. <laughs> you know that word today. There's probably a lot of people that work on Labor Day. The irony of that is ironic. James Blackbird coming back to membership. Well, thank you there, James. I would just be up there seeing that, man. Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate that as well. And also, Leonard Moore there gave a dollar, and I, I missed Leonard's shout out there. So thank you there, Leonard. Appreciate the dollar tip. And thank you there again to Mr. Jake, uh, James Blackbird. Lord. Thank you there for the uh, for the joining of membership sponsoring the channel here in the live stream content, man. It's awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man. I am good, man. Thank you. Appreciate that as always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might want to do that, Max. That would probably be a good idea. Uh, ah, nice there, Anthony. Dustin, thank you there. Appreciate the sub, man. You guys are good. Turning it in to be a pretty good night. My gosh, Nick. Great book. If I can find that one piece of gear, man, son, it's going to be a wow. Y'all glad to watch out. Do some more from RTA. Uh, yeah, um, we just had such an influx of new trucks with new big uh, stuff on it, man. The Kenworth, uh, the Kenworth from John Rudiman has been an absolute joy to drive. It has been very popular um, here in the uh, in the stream. So thank you guys for coming out and watching some of those streams and some of the vids that we've done on that. It's been a, um, an absolute joy to drive. So I think um, if you guys, uh, I don't know, Greybook or Andrew, if you guys want to throw some of those, uh, just a couple of those in there, maybe maybe a couple of the shorter ones there, maybe the ones that have the more popular views or whatnot. Um, if you guys want to see the new Kenworth I'm talking about, I've got links to purchase those in the description, um, but also just for, um, yeah, just to check, some, check a new truck out. Good stuff. Really, really good. Oh, that's okay, Dustin. Hit the wrong button. Well, you can unhit it. See you later. Would you ever be self-conscious as face cam if you were ugly? Ah, of course. I don't I don't think that I'm hot, and I would probably maybe even be a little weirded out if the guys in chat told me I was hot. I'd probably kind of question that a little bit. But I don't care, man. Um, but yes, no, I've never wore makeup, and I wouldn't wear makeup on a face cam or a thumbnail or anything like that. Um, yeah, they save that for the nightly news. 
So if you guys are just wondering here, if you can't read it, especially from a mobile device, that little uh, telemetry stuff down there in the bottom is giving our range and mileage and all kinds of stuff. We're in Washington right now, headed on our way up to Colville, so we'll go through Spokane. Um, and then, uh, well, that's where we're going. So we got about, uh, let's see, about 100 miles left in game, which won't really take no time to do that. We'll pick something else up here on our fleet night, continue on down. You guys can let me know if you want me to go back across towards OMAC or whether or not we hit south through Oregon, Ontario, go that way. Uh, we can do pretty much whatever. Just a little blush. Not really. Oh, where's the beanie at? Yeah, you didn't like the beanie, so I stopped wearing a beanie. Gave me crap on my beanie, so I moved back to my hat. Honestly, the hats are like hotter. Because the earphones sit over and trap all the heat in my head. But I like wearing a hat. I don't like wearing... The beanies are more comfortable and breathable. I like that, man. Hey, well, thank you there, Isla. Appreciate that, man. Did NASCAR driver Kyle, Kyle Larson? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, Kyle Larson did, but it's no telling whether or not it's the real Kyle Larson. But if you did, awesome. If you didn't, might just been a guy named Kyle. What do I have in the ballpark? When I bought it, Chris, probably about 2800 um, Maybe give or take a few more account shipping. It's obviously not that now. Um, but, yeah. And that's pretty, pretty above, well, it's above average, but honestly, it's not anywhere in the top of the line when it comes to um, gaming PCs. I mean, some of those PCs that have guys that have spent eight, nine thousand dollars on a PC. That's a lot of money. But, you know, if they're using it and they're utilizing all of the components in it, then we're back to it. Hey, what's up, Postman? I'm good, dude. Hope you're doing good, man. Look at the lights. I like the lights in Washington. They look good. <laughs> yeah, you never pick on anybody for anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nick likes my graphic tees. What's up, Will Epic for real? What's up, Wolf Blood? Thank you there for the two dollars there from Mr. Wolf Blood as well. Appreciate it, guys. I'm doing good, man. I don't play with Oculus, obviously. It'd be weird to, to do live stream with a VR. It'd be weird. I wouldn't be able to see chat unless they have a way to like infuse chat into the VR, which would still be weird. Would I still look at the camera? Is that what you'd do? How would you know if the camera's there? Like, these are questions that we need answers for. We just didn't set that up right, man. Uh, uh, car special cargo uh, on the LT? Yeah. It's kind of weird on the on the fleet night. Y'all always want stuff like on the weird nights that I coin them as something. And then then y'all want something weird. <laughs> um, how about this? How about once we run a few loads here um, so 45 minutes. we'll do we'll do another we could do another long load if you guys want to do something else a little longer uh, doesn't matter to me I don't guess or because what I here's what I here's where I'm going with that there wolf um, I am going to be driving a couple of new trucks to the stream uh, one of those being the um, the international 9300 from Shadow Walker uh, I am going to be driving his, which is going to have the much needed oomph to pull it. Um, and I'm also going to be pulling uh, John Ruda's Freightliner Classic XL, which is an absolute monster. And I'm going to be doing that uh, sometime early this week. So I do not mind, if you want to, I'll take a rain check on your special cargo and I'll put it on that Freightliner if you're alright with that. Hey, Jughead, they are uh, 40s. 40 inches. Uh, what general full, uh, frames? Uh, I'm always 60. I just keep it at 60 post. I mean, there's some games that'll let you register a little more than that, but I've kind of always kept them at 60 just for most of this stuff. I just kind of lock them in at 60. That way, it's, um, it's a little bit better for the stream, and it's not trying to process too much. And let's just stall out. Um, I need to get it working, Wolf. I can't get it to work. Um, every time I load in that truck, I have purple tires or um, it, 
crashes the game, or I drive to a city and it crashes. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what's what's. Um, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. <laughs> I hope Brian goes back or watches this. <laughs> well, thank you there, Evan. Appreciate it, man. Uh, modern day, I should be. Um, if if not, definitely Wednesday. Uh, Dustin, no, I don't. I don't use uh, Track R anymore. I don't really have to, because I. If you set it up right, it took me a while to do this. But if you set it up right, um, you you basically have 90 degrees out of both windows. So even though it's a little bit open, that's more or less just for your for y'all's benefit. Uh, when I first started this, I had to raise it up just a little bit, and then I actually turned the monitors in. It honestly kind of felt like you were boxed into a truck, and it felt it felt nice. But um. But it's fine. It's fine. It's kind of like one of those things. You just kind of deal with it. Kind of move on. Hey, what's up there, kitty? Well, hopefully, uh, as long as uh, as long as it goes wrong like this last week. Well, I ain't get a two hundred dollar, you know, get a two hundred dollar laptop at Walmart, but it's not going to run anything like this. The Freightliner will work. Okay, man. We'll do that. We'll do that, Wolf. Because that way, that way, people will know what they're actually coming in to watch. Tonight, it'll be people that want to come in and see like complete vehicles and the international OT, which has kind of gotten overshadowed by some of the other really good trucks. It was kind of weird, man. Steam Workshop just exploded with like five new trucks from everybody. It was, it was crazy. I mean, you had uh, the international OT popped out. You had the 990 popped out. You had the 100E popped out. You got the Freightliner Cascadia popped out. So, I mean, you had all these trucks, man. It came out of nowhere. Um, and this one kind of was in the mix of that, but didn't get as, quite as much, as wide as much love. Uh, it'll be either tomorrow or Wednesday, Wolf. I think it's going to be the next truck I drive in. We haven't driven that one in a while, man. And it's, it's such a good truck, man. Such a good truck. And it's one of the cheapest, like, paywork trucks. And honestly, man, it's got a ton of customization. You guys will love that one. I might just turn that one and do another build and drive with it. Oh, we had a little bit of rain in Seattle or Washington, I should say. Let me have a fire truck coming over anyway. Run of the day, so the average express. Whoa, well, we took out the guardrail. We got that on the uh, being pulled there by beautiful international LT. Complete with Oregon tags, custom MTG 2040. Now, this is uh, a custom uh, drive in. Now, this is on the workshop, uh, but you got to look for it. It's the, um, it's the utility uh, 4000X composite. So it comes to the pack, it kind of adds these nice chrome trims and adds all the stuff, but all the standard skins work on these trailers. But it's got the shiny chrome and it looks like absolutely superb as you can see. So. Uh, we will eventually, Brando. Um, now obviously they didn't do very well, but um, I got a point there on some of those were Fridays, man. We was, I had so much stuff, man, I hadn't needed that extra day. <clears throat> so. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to get some ETS stuff going back in, especially once the new DLC rolls around. The new DLC rolls around, man, get out there, we'll do some driving on that, Trucker's MP. Um, I would love to get on there and do some day runs, you know, if I can if I can ever get some time in the house, you know. I'd love to get a couple hours in there, man, do a nice little convo in the day when the service is completely packed. Maybe some. So I gotta say, man, I, I noticed just by looking up here at the chat that um, I can see my preview screen there, and it looks like stream is rolling smooth tonight. Would you guys agree to that? I, I hope you do. I think it just looks like it is just 
humming right along today. What's up, David? Thank you, man. Have a good in there, Dave. If you're on your way out, buddy, appreciate it. Thanks for coming over and joining the stream for a bit. Agreed? Yeah. Thank you. Try that gear. There we go. Yeah, man, it does. It does. Like I said, like all those realistic, the realistic roads now are still pretty good. But like the realistic grass textures, the realistic vegetation, the realistic mountain textures, all that stuff, man, it was completely eating up. Completely eating up the uh, the GPU, man. I got to look at some of those. Um, some of those textures and stuff, man, were—I mean, they were—they were absolutely huge, absolutely huge. All right, brand new city. Here we are. See what see where it's going see where it's going puss. We got that. We got that. There he goes. I'll blow it out. Don't give me a great option to get in this parking lot. Let's try this another one. Like, hey, yeah. Um, so I wish ATS would fix that. I mean, to be honest with you. Well, we're going to if we can ever get you the, uh, Know that I can do it this way, but we're going to try. How about that? Tower ladder, what's up, man? How are the firefighting boys over there tonight? Well, that means I'm just going to drag the trailer around. Plus, I was a little bit dumb and put the wheels all the way in the back, so that don't make it any better. That's okay when you're on time, Kenny. That doesn't work on live stream. <laughs> well, we're still not going to miss it, man. Stupid 53-footer. Give it one more now. We've actually got the full turnaround. Here we go. Now we've got it. There we go. Now. Could y'all imagine if you were at your local Walgreens and saw this? What is this guy doing? Uh, he just takes more time. You know, you think about it, you turn the wheel like this in a controller, and in a wheel you have to turn it like a, you know, a real steering wheel. I mean, if you drive a car or a truck, you know, I mean, I think it feels more natural, but that's, that's just me. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We'll have to see where this sucker is. this perspective, but 
Okay, I don't have it. I can't look into the mirror and get closer to it. And see, now it's out of view. I mean, like, it's out of view and I can't see it. So, that's what's hard about it. There's another inlay hour, man. Probably would have helped if I'd have not had the 53 footer on there, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, look at there, Lay. All right, man. Good deal, bud. What's up there, Kevin Jones? How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. We made it. Unload. That was good. That was good. That was good. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, that was a tough. That was a tough backup. Man, it would have been better if we'd have been up front. But yeah, I had those tandems all the way shut in the back. Michael Alverson, what's up, man? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Let's uh while I'm at it, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and jump time up to in the morning. Maybe early morning. How about that? We'll do uh well, let's do There you go. That's what we're talking about. I'm getting storm. Rolling around in Dorian. Alright, so there's Coville. Now this is some stuff up here in Montana. This is part of the coast to coast. I don't know how any of this stuff what it looks like, so I'm not really gonna be riding on most of that. Um, because I have no idea what it looks like. Um, but let's see here. Let's uh, let's get us let's get us at least a good little run here. We got it right at an hour, so we'll do this one for our uh, our. Uh, he's in. I I'm not getting scooter out. Trust me, you don't want me to get it out because then I'll have to leave again. Uh, Elko might be a little far. What's that? Seven thirty-three fifteen hours. That's a pretty good haul. All that does go through Idaho. <gasps> let's do that why not man let's do that y'all y'all good with that we're actually going to skirt into Hido, which will be part of uh i have no idea what that looks like um i got a feeling but i'm probably gonna be disappointed but we'll go through idaho how about that yeah but i don't think this is the same montana this does i don't have the montana at the montana add-on that you have um that's why i say that i only have just regular coast to coast I would probably still be like a regional guy. 
Like, I would drive one of these and have probably be okay with it, but I don't really want to. Um, if, 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 you know, things around here got a little bit tough, like, oh, this might be, you know, I don't know. I'm 50-50 on that. Some people have decent experiences, and some people have absolutely terrible um, terrible experiences with that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to slide these up to the front. We are going to confirm that. And then, bada bing, they're in the front. There we go. So if you're just joining us, let me go ahead and set this up a little bit. So if you guys are just joining us here, um, first off, thanks to those guys whose names are scrolling across the bottom. Those guys have been our top monthly donators. The middle one is for uh, Super Chats, I believe. And the one on the right is for a donations through Streamlabs. So big thumbs up to you guys. Give shout outs whenever I can. Uh, we are the end of the International LT. This is a new one here on the Steam Workshop. This is free. Search for International LT as well as the 3000 R 4000 X Composite. Uh, dry van slash insulated reefer uh, storage container trailer. Uh, and this skins also are on Steam just by searching the International LT. So there's your perfect public service announcement there from FUG. So go grab these on the Steam Workshop. They are absolutely fantastic mods and they run superb. Um, and I couldn't say more about them, man. I'm, I'm really excited when guys do really, really, really good work uh, and they showcase it for the rest of the trucking uh, group to see. So uh, and I think we just missed our load. Because it's disappeared off of the map again. So let's check it and see what's up. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Louie? How are you, buddy? Hope you're doing good, man. It's good to see Louie trucking in here. One of our, uh, one of our, I don't want to call you a regular because you're a lot more than a regular, but he is, uh, he is always driving, man, repping the FTG name online and all that other good stuff, man. So thank you there. Appreciate uh, the stuff you do there and the work you put in there, Mr. Louie. Uh, as always, man. Let's see. Orange reporter. It looks like we missed it. <sighs> really, really, really wanted to go in there, and now I'm, now I'm mad. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything out of Spokane. Portland burns. Eugene Idaho falls. Just want to get into Nevada. That's all I want. Look, we're not going to get a single one in Nevada. <sighs> yes, and some of these loads are out of another trailer as well. Not just these. Dang, man. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so what can I do? What can I, what can I do? What can I do? All right. Let me just double check one more time. Uh, we can always uh, speed our time up, which I guess we can do. Y'all, right, y'all, give me just a second here to do this, cause I would really. Let's see. So it is five. So let's make it four o'clock, and then we'll make it three o'clock, and then we'll make it five o'clock. All right. Let's see what's in our job market now. Oh, we can't take those. All right, Colville, good gosh. Um, lots to Wenatchee. Everything's going to Wenatchee. All right, there he is. Pendleton, Oregon. Oh, my gosh. This is what I hate about that because now it's going to randomize all the way to flipping Auburn. No, I don't want to go to Auburn. I just want to go south, man. I just want to go south. We'll go see Mama. Hey, Elko. I'll take it. Elko it is. Ha! We're taking more nuts. So we got 120 of them left in the stream. So come on, guys. We're riding to Elko. All right, y'all crawl in the back. Don't stand over the axle. It gets bumpy. So we 
are on our way to Spokane right now. And we're going to pick up another load, and that is going to Elko, which we will dip and dive through Idaho. No, you don't. Know, no. <laughs> yeah, I just answered all that thing. And you'll be like, no. Oh, God. Go go juice. It's not go go juice. Y'all get mad at me when I call it gas. It's diesel. Or fuel. <laughs> you would have railed me for doing that. Uh, it's not gas, FTG. It's diesel or fuel. You don't forget your go go juice. Uh, it's three quarters. Yeah, it's three quarters, man. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It's not go go juice. I know you got that from Northern Alex. He's the only one that says go go. <laughs> yeah, I guess in a weird and kind of creepy way, you're right there, Fang. Fang it is, man. My FPS, I, it's, it's always at 60, man. It never, never really moves most, man. Um, it's, um, if it's smooth, because I'm actually doing the stream in 1080, 60 frames, so I just keep it here locked in at 60, so that way I don't have any kind of discrepancies in trying to like downscale versus rescale. Everything just kind of comes right out of the chute, just clean and easy. out there that's curious without having this up um, if you look right here at that little pass that says W pass right now it says a red light on there so all the trucks are fitted with that and so if you do not run with your little thing up there but you don't know what those say if you look up there if it, you get a pass it'll be green and if you uh, if you have to pull in it'll be red just so you guys know but if you want to see your weight, we're at 34,000 of gross weight. Which seems a little light, but uh, maybe this is a light day. I don't know. Maybe. All right, here we go. Let's float a few gears. I don't think that's what they call it. <laughs> uh, that's a wrong spooky in the band in there, but I don't know, man. <laughs> well, actually, I thought that was just a reference because everyone still calls me full tilt. Which I, I, I still don't get, but yeah. What's up, Conf? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good, man. Couple new trailers, just random like uh, some little random facts of the day. Uh, you got a couple new trailers came in from uh, DRO modding. I don't know if you say it DRO modding or if it's just DRO. Uh, anyway, he put uh, two or three things out this week, so you can guys go check them out. They're on the recents there on the Steam Workshop. Worth uh, worth giving them a download. Okay, full speed. Nah, I'll, I'll go along with that. I'll go along with that. Oh, it's snooky. Joe, I know, I know what you've been watching. I know what you're calling Go Go Juice. Snooky and abandoned. <laughs> Billy, what's up, man? Ha 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 ha, there, Jordan. Ha 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 ha. He may be a fine guy, but he's never met him. He's never done anything with him. You know what? If we did something, it had a big tandem something or another. I don't know what we do, but I don't think he does online. Do you know how? 
Do you want to know how confusing it would be? And it would be crazy, man. Uh, any, uh, any Little Boy trailers or updates? Well, you got the, the one from Binga. Um, now, DRO modding, um, there was some guy that put out an ownable forestry trailer, but I don't really know how it works. He said SP and MP ready, but I don't really know that you can own forestry trailers unless it's like a, like a save edit type of glitch. I don't really know. Use that one at your own risk. Alright, let's see as we're going to pick up here. I'll go ahead and pop to the close-up. I gotta say, and, I, and I'm actually being very honest about this, I've never felt like more of a truck driver in two weeks than I am for right now. Because this is 95% what you see on the road, you know? It's this stuff right here, man. Taking a freaking, a, a big old trailer full of nuts to Elko. Like that has to happen so that you can sit at the computer desk as you play ATS and eat your pistachios. That has to happen, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, back back to the back to this. Fazel, what's up? Well, it'd probably be the last time I stream because that's against the community guidelines. So it would probably take more than five hundred. Oh no, it's going to crash! I don't know what happened. Something nasty happened there. Whoops! Whoops! Well, that sucks, because I wanted to see where it actually saved my game. Anyway. <laughs> That's mean, George. That's mean. That's mean. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Well, like I said, there's an issue with the sound file in that truck. Um, there's some evidently some files that are in stereo, and they need to be down, down converted to mono for them to work with ATS. You know, because we're in the modern day age, and ATS can't have stereo sound. ridiculous hey you need a 2000 computer dollar computer to run it on more than one screen but we still run everything in mono we just double it up for double the fun and pleasure let's see where we're at um well, let's just see where it loads us up man <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah what's uh <laughs> Oh look at there! Well, how do you? What do you think? What do you think about that? How oh, that couldn't have worked out any better. Let's see. Are we still got our nuts? Yes, we do. I think it was uh, coming into the game. Let's see, did it record it? Let's see if it recorded it. To cities that I don't have. Garage spawn points. Okay. Alright, just checking. And let's see where we where we be going here. Oh, wait. Wow, uh, who's there? Where do you get a setup like mine? Um, well, lots of work and it's a it's a build of lots of different things, but the main rig is from medic out of Portugal um, so they're European they do a lot of GT1 and 2 so I didn't build this for driving although most people probably don't know that um, when I got the wild hair to actually do this um, I built it with a channel expansion in mind rally NASCAR everything driving sim related like let's just do it all you know what I'm saying I got to run out of uh, So 
I did it with everything in mind um, as it relates to driving sims. So anyway, that's kind of what this, I built this in with really anything, honestly, but trucking. Because it's really hard to build a trucking simulator. I mean, you've almost got to be a whiz at, you know, microboards and USB boards and converting gauges and, you know, being able to set all that stuff up and how it runs and operates. I ain't got that, I ain't got that kind of time. I ain't gonna lie. See, let me, uh, something happened to my, my chat here. It went all the way up. There we go. No, I'm just letting Fang and the Swift truck know that I'm backing up, so don't pull forward because I'm in front of you. <laughs> See, one thing y'all got to realize, man, I don't let myself drive stupid too many times on chat, just so y'all can't, just so y'all can't, uh, y'all can't troll me on that. Yeah, I just wanted you to know where I was at, Fox. That's the only thing. Fane the Fox, Fane the Fox, showers ready, install three. Fane the Fox, shower, install three. And all my truckers that ever been to a truck stop will know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Kyle Southern Mattis, I hear you, dude. Well, congrats there on uh, school, man. Good luck. And it's going to crash on me again. <laughs> God. Hmm. Yeah, I got something wrong with the sounds on that truck. I'm not liking me getting in and out of stuff. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, we'll try it one more time. I was kind of worried about that, but it actually did really good this afternoon. I didn't have any problems, and now all of a sudden, wherever I'm at, something not, uh, something not, something not working right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, at this rate, I'm like, yeah, well, let's go grab some gear. I mean, well, we, I mean, well, I haven't, so I need to see if it's actually still set up. I mean, I mean, we, we could probably run over to Twitch and stream some division after it, but my character's not strong enough to actually, you know. <laughs> Let's see if it gives me my uh, should have auto saved when we when we've picked up our nuts. Not being funny, we seriously are carrying a trailer full of nuts. But um, all right there, Mister Zach. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, so all right. Well. Um, hmm. That's that's a that's a sucky night. There's something here that's that does not like me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is, Wolf. Um, it's not giving me a chance to load it in. So it's something here at the rail export. There's a sound or something not. Um, I'll try it one more time. Actually, you know what? We'll just go to another place. Um, I'll pick another load. And we'll just do something small. Um. <laughs> There you go, Joey. Perfect, perfect, man. I like it, dude. <laughs> oh, I do. oh, oh, wow. No, 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 no. Hey, there you go, Southern Madness. You can, easily, you, can, you can at least go in with high hopes and aspirations, man. That's what we like to see, man. <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to take out Coast to Coast. I mean, it's, it would be my one thing of what it might would be, but um, we're just going to we're gonna go ahead and abandon this load just in case there's something in this area. It's just typically what I do. So we'll uh, we'll grab up something else. We'll see if we can we can get it somewhere else other than rail export. Um, be great if we could get back down into uh, into Nevada again. I at least wanted to cut through the little corner of Idaho there because I just thought that would be cool. Um, but it looks like we're not really going to get that chance. Of course not. Why would we? Um, so that's going to San Rafael, but we're going to take the long route. Okay. So just, um, we're going to the Wally world. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. I just asked chat chat. Do you guys know what's going on? Do you know why it crashed? 
Yeah, not really. If it did again... Yeah, like, what's the pro... Like, what's the problem with it now? Like, nothing. Like, it works. Alright. Um... That's what we do when we're on the time crunch. On all truck drivers wish they could do this. Nicholas, what's up, man? Nah, computer don't have me, man. It's just the product of ATS. I ain't spend any time, amount of time in ATS, man. It's just how it goes. And the smart ones figured out how to get around it and how to uh, rise above adversity. And the other ones just sit there and whine and cry about it. In discords. <laughs> All right, so let's do. Yeah, there we go. All right, ready to row. sound off so we don't have any uh any big issues so let's find out where we're going on our world map and we're just going to move our stuff down here so we are going to stop uh we're going to come down 84 all the way to boise twin falls and we're going to just stop here in elko all right so that's originally where we're going to go okay so that's where i'm going to put a pin in it um actually let's move this pin over to the fuel station or the go-go-go go, go station. Let's drive again. Okay. Yeah, right. There we go, man. That's all right, Jordan. Uh, I'm, I'm in a smarty kind of mood tonight. I don't know why. So maybe it's a good mood. It's not a bad mood. It's actually just kind of like, hey, I could be a little edgy tonight. Be a little spice to the party. I'll be the pepper to the salt. That's what my motto tonight is. Full tilt gaming can place pepper for salt. Hey, they get their Carolina Street Kings. Appreciate it, but Carolina Street Kings. Where do you get the Carolina Street Kings from? What area? Because that sounds awful familiar. Like, really familiar. similar up here up this way but yeah this name sounded awful familiar so worldwide 007 what's up my friend how are you there buddy that's what i need to do worldwide i give me a soundboard i get that people come in maybe we'll find out what nick's favorite little five second sound clip is what, what sums up nick t in five seconds you can go a lot of different ways on that one a lot of different ways. Um, I, mean, I get one for coughing. Uh, who else we get one for? Obviously, Gravik. Oh, wait, oh, we got to do the, your text tone. It's Super Mario. Bling, bling. We gotta have some, uh, some other ones in there too, man. Yeah, <laughs> you do, man. You gotta have. You gotta have a little bit more fun with it. Milk, deliciously 
does that say natural? Sometimes. Sometimes. No. <laughs> Did that form same episode? Yeah, that one episode of coffee, you were like, Peace! <laughs> we laughed about that for a while. That was good. division days you guys probably really haven't seen me honestly get mad at anything till you see me play division come on baby come on now I didn't set that one up right there we go alright sad panda well let me see if I can get into it hey there's the uh, there's a French train in uh Hey, what's up, Raj? Yeah, man. This view looks like you're in the side mirror a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, what up, FTG? Wait up. I need the link for 40 go. I need the link. Give me the link, FTG. I need the link. It's in the same workshop. What's that? I don't know. Open Vandewer's box? What? Yeah. Even if it is 
the dislike button. You know what? Fair enough. Well, fair enough. That that actually it still matters. It still matters, man. <laughs> that still matters. All right, here we go. Know where we going? We gotta go this way. We're not going to Ritzville. All right, so let's see. So this is uh, just south of Spokane. So pretty soon here we'll be on the Oregon, uh, the Fun Road. Cool mind that put the map around the back trailer. I don't know if you guys see that or not. there, bud. Good to see you, man. ASMR. Man, come on, dude. We can only do that whenever Shadow Walker hops up, man. That's the only time we do it, man. It was only a matter of time before they did that kind of stuff, Kenny. You know what I'm saying, man? 
As we're in Aberdeen Express, uh, so time is fleet night. I'm going to start trying to make Monday a fleet night of something. So we'll drive fleet vehicles, fleet skins of some sort. So tonight is Aberdeen Express. You can find all this stuff in your local uh, workshop. It's Steam Workshop. Oh, yeah, that's where you find it. We're also the trailer as well. Skins, all this stuff is in the Steam Workshop. Let's look for the uh, 3000 or 4000 x Closet trailer, or this uh, skin will fit also in the SES trailers as well. So it's uh, multifunctional. Hey, Jake Brown, good to see you, man. Uh, we'll drive Swift just because y'all will enjoy it, man. Y'all don't lie, man. Y'all enjoy it, man. If you do Swift. Especially if something happens, because that's what everybody's waiting on. Everybody's waiting on me to do something so they can meme the pool in an FTG with Swift. Yeah, we did Swift, and actually it went over quite well. If I say so myself. to um, yeah so you'd have to go to your options um, you have to go back to your options screen and then figure out what the language is and I can't remember what language is in Spanish because it'll say Espanol and you'll need to change it to English but y'all remember what uh, language is in uh, what language is in Spanish yeah, there was that was actually a will a, a long while back. That was probably before like New Mexico even dropped, I think. A Walmart fleet. We might could do some Wally World. We got Walmart to go to go, so we can make it happen. We pulled that one quite a bit. We just haven't done the, you know, Bad Dragon and all that crap on there. Yeah, that's a... I don't know where those skins come from. It's a little weird. Like, so I think this is... Is this the Grand Coulee Basadas? No, it was Pendleton. All right, it looked like Grand Coulee. I talked in there. All right, welcome to Oregon going to Pendleton, I believe Ontario, the next left. Mm, Peterbilt. Mm. Trying to think, so what's, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think what the new, we got that Freightliner Cascadia. It's okay though. It's not as good as the original one. I'm trying to think what else we got. We got the 990, but that's not really in those fleets either. I mean, we could do the 579. got skins for Old Dominions, so we could do it. We could do some Old Dominions. I always see Old Dominions in doubles. So, I'll write all these down then. Use the Shaker Crab Kings. Well, we, we could... Well, that would be difficult for Walmart. But, um, but yeah, we, we could drive. I think we've got a couple of different options for some Walmart skins. I, I think they do use Freightliners, but we could pretty much find a Walmart skin for about anything. You know what, we could even drive up all the way. You know, one thing that we haven't done, there's a new one in the Steam Workshop, the Volvo 2018 from, uh, that's actually a really nice truck. I know it's a Volvo, but seriously, it's actually a really nice truck. I mean, I mean, we're still driving basically a glorified Volvo now. I mean, it pretty much, you know, within reason. 
Hey, what's up there, Ints4? Good to see you, man. Your fleet night on a Monday night, man. What we keep saying, no Volvos. I would do a Volvo. It's a really good Volvo, dude. It's a really good Volvo. Honestly, I think they do anything where they don't have it necessarily. I don't think they have just like one maker in their fleet. I think they like pick a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's kind of like uh, you know service vehicles for certain. Like they might have a whole fleet of Chevys. They might have a whole fleet of now some will you know some of them, but they'll they'll put an order in for so many Freightliners, and they might put a they might put an order in for so many Pete's. I think it matters from year to year to year. So you might find some Walmart trucks that were three years old that were part of another truck deal. So you're probably not always going to find all Freightliners the same year, because if they did, they'd be broke by now if you find so many trucks. That's right, man. Good old American muscle and So Joe, this game came out in 2016, so it's working on its third year, and I think it shows. <laughs> How about them apples? All right, oh yeah, I actually need a little, need to be in a little cab for this one. Probably got it from 
Google first. Really like it. Yeah, I agree, Jordan. I agree, man. I like the anthem, dude. I like it. I see a lot of people pulling, uh, pulling fuel tankers and stuff with them. guys do but we um, we partnered with Thrustmaster uh, well, I guess it had been about a couple of weeks ago um, they finally sent some stuff in so I had some things that we'd already bought as a part of the, the channel so I knew about three generic setups on this one for rally racing one for trucking and then I've got another one that's kind of secondary that's kind of like an action racer I'd call it but um, I was kind of waiting for all that stuff to kind of happen, get the video done and all that before I did the product setup bit. Because I thought at least go through the controller use, how I use them. Most of it's all USB. There's nothing funky fancy here. Um, and then kind of talk about all the different controllers I have, how I have everything set up. Um, just kind of give you a quick like rig rundown um, is what I was going to call it. So um, I can probably do that uh, now that I actually have some of that Thrustmaster stuff. I can actually do that. So I will uh, at least probably not this week. Uh, but we'll see how next week shapes up, and I'll see if I can get started on that. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Craven. Nick told you to say that, I know. Would I be a truck driver? Yeah. Uh, if I had to, maybe. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. But I guess it depends on which kind of driving you're doing. But I guess if you're a, a local, a local guy, then yeah, I guess it'd be all right. I just wouldn't want to spend the time away from the family. What's up there, Double R? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good.
this time of day, man. It's, it's good on the road. Good, man, good. Good to see you guys.
little, let's see if we can grab a little bit of uh, Look at that. <laughs> ah, it's funny, Max. Yeah, I like the, the Chuck Norris joke. The short notice, Chuck Norris has got to be getting into some age. Got to be getting into some age. Well, we've been featured quite a bit of Coast to Coast here the past couple of uh, weeks, man. We've been doing quite a bit for years. So, uh, like I said, man, Southeast is banging. I love, I love that one. And I've actually been to Idaho. I have not been to Boise, but I have been to Idaho. And it's very reminiscent of exactly like this. Now, why you'll see me crash the truck, man? Who wants to see me crash the truck? I think I was doing the um, the Montana. He's he's done a pretty good job. I don't have the Montana went in, or I would have I would have kind of gone that way and maybe tried to come down. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I mean, of course, you guys got a death plan, man. I know you guys, y'all you know, know what you want to do, but man, especially with Utah rolling in, man, to do some work in Idaho, and um, yeah, of course, I don't know what the next. Um, Man, it's hard to say what the next uh, the next two states are going to be after Utah. I mean, I would assume they might would do Montana and Idaho. And that would be the assumption, just because we want to have a big old nice block of mappage down there. Um, but you know, it'd be really cool, man, to you know have some connections in between Idaho um, and and leading into Utah and kind of connect it back into Nevada, especially when that state's going to be missing. Uh, that, that'd be cool, man. Or, you guys got y'all's death plan, so y'all do it. Y'all do y'all's thing, man. Y'all have to listen to me. Hello from Nebraska. What's up, man? Do the grapevine. Uh, do the grapevine, California? You mean do they have the grapevines in California? Maybe. Hey, what's up there, Mitchell? Fast to check. Fast to check. Later, Ian. Sam, good man. We actually don't do too much crashing with the others there, uh, Wolf. That's kind of slowed down since all the ice is going to show up again. That's the legitimate truth. Uh, so I we're running coast to coast there, J Cap. So coast to coast literally is from coast to coast in the U.S. The southeast is very filled in, very nice, really a really 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 good map of southeast. And the rest of it, I had the connector roads um, and some of the um, at least some of the feels of the areas, but uh, some of these Midwest areas haven't had a, a good working in here. Enough. A lot of guys, man, they still like uh, they still like coast to coast and riding cross country and stuff, man. Ah, well, I got you. Yeah, well, you know, do what you gotta do, man. Hey, what's up, there, John? The Max Bell? What's up, man? The Night Shift. So if you guys, I'll throw, I'll throw Jonathan a shout out because I didn't get a chance to throw him one in Discord today. Uh, so he's been working really hard. Him and some of the dispatch were working really hard to bring up uh, our own dispatch center. Um, so Truckbooks offers a dispatch center, but he's actually done one where we actually have coded loads, uh, loads of different cargoes to and from all these different cities. And we have requests for drop-offs. We have driver sign-ins and everything through a uh, website that he's done himself. Um, so. One of these days when I find time, we're going to actually kind of pull all of this stuff together, make the resources. Uh, they're still available. Uh, he does that all there um, and has done a fantastic job with it. So if you guys are looking for a little bit more of an extension of American Drug Sim, especially within multiplayer or, or any of the other stuff, he's got Canada Dream, Coast to Coast, Jobs and stuff matched in. So um, even more so what you can do inside of Dispatch uh, in truck books, at least in the regular map, he is actually giving people enough to be able to go out on all the other maps and do stuff as well. So big time stuff. So if you um, 
so if you want to, you can go through and you can kind of look through all of those different the different loads um, and kind of see what's going on. But anyway, if you got any questions on that, hit the dispatchers up or put questions in ATS help desk there in Discord. It's actually uh, a really cool thing what he's doing, especially if you want to get a little bit more out of the role play of ATS. Um, those guys have done a fantastic job. So thumbs up there to Jonathan and the crew. You guys have done uh, an awesome job there as well. Bringing in, I think, some ETS. I don't know if it said ETS or not on there. I won't speak to. I won't speak too soon. Not too soon. Either. A truck color yet for the company? For mine, it's it's usually always been like a charcoalish. Uh, we'll say like a charcoalish gray um, with uh, electric blue and white and black accents. It's pretty much what my colors have always been. Well, to be fair, uh, Manchin said that really nobody's worked on this area of the map, so you're probably looking a lot of this would be the original, uh, the original map, or at least original areas that people haven't touched in quite a while. Um, the southeast is probably one of the more happening areas on coast to coast right now. It's, it really looks good. There's a guy doing the Midwest project, uh, which looks promising if the development can, can, can stay with it. So. I mean, all these things are good to see uh, what happens, especially when guys are doing stuff in their own free time. Because Lord knows I wouldn't do it. All right, Twin Falls. Lincoln, you'll miss it. Yes! 
right, no fines, no fines. Yeah, he's got a, uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see development, I just should have uh, thrown this out there earlier. So if any of you guys want to follow development, if you don't know, if you download Coast to Coast on all the mod sites and you kind of grab the, the, the kitty litter of Coast to Coast mods, um, follow his stuff on uh, the SES forums, which is where I usually get most of all my mods. And the reason I say that is not everybody, but some guys will post share mod links or other things. And they do, uh, I guess in some ways, they will receive a little bit from advertisers that advertise on some of those mod sites or whatnot. But when they say keep the original link, that's why most of the stuff that you download on the, on the workshop most of the stuff is either two things it's either a mod that's incompatible to go on to steam workshop it's got errors or warnings or something and they won't allow it uh, or it's stolen or it's leaked or it's private and someone else has leaked out and put it on a mod site 75 percent of the stuff you download on a mod site is actually in the steam workshop or on the forums so if you guys go to the maps section of the forums and the mods then you can follow coast to coast or Viva Mexico, you can follow any of those maps and grab the latest updates and also kind of follow the forum and see what's going on with further updates or bug, you know, reports, any of that kind of stuff. So, SES Forums is actually a really good place to go do that. So, anyway, that's my, that's my uh, FGG fun fact of the day. Yeah, see you there, Curtis. Have a good buddy. sell a truck seat for simulators they do sell it it's uh, only about seventeen hundred dollars it is air ride suspension with the uh, with the lap belt the high back and two armrests and it comes on a plate so I guess you could literally mount it to your floor if you wanted to or mount it to a piece of plywood I guess whatever a box I don't know it will mount to something and uh, yeah, thought that was pretty crazy. When I was looking at actually building the rig, I saw that and I was like, wow, a $1, $1,700, $1,800 truck seat for a simulator. Yeah, only $1,700, man. I, I was like, hey, you know, when in Rome, must have air ride. I have played Dalton Highway and I'm, yeah, man, I don't like any of that stuff. It's just, it's just too repetitive, man, too repetitive. I just can't stand it, man. Well, so this is, uh, uh yeah, what we got here? Uh, let's see if we're putting this on the 80. Jackpot Snakes, all right. Let's go into Wells. Next up. You're only 1800. I it's because I had simulator in this in the title because they're not going after me, they're going after the guy in the school that's building a simulator for their school. That's what they're going after. They're not going after a guy like me. Why would I need an air ride? Of course, why would they need it? I guess we even oh, I hate these. That'll, that'll be no problem, Elu. I'm 
I'm sure there will not be any problem with that. Branco J just lost me money. Driver Branco J has almost leveled up with negative $600. see the little green light so if you're not running that you see the little green light that means you can pass the way station you don't have to go away if you don't run with your uh, your map up which sometimes I don't and then I'm in a mad dash to like figure out where it's at so now now you know red light means uh, pull over for the way station green light means you're okay Dylan what's up we are on our way to Elko so we're almost there so I know I said we got a few more miles and left our trip but uh, we'll finish that one up here later stuff under the face cam so all this right here is all telemetry from the truck so I mean it's pretty self-explanatory um, it basically has uh, like see that green light comes on that's when I hit the uh, jake brake um, this one is the uh, see that one is the reverser so everything that I do in here turn on flashers you guys can see it so it's basically a glorified dash uh, with everything that could possibly be inside this truck so I run that so you guys can see what's going on since my dash up here is kind of far away from the camera. You guys don't ever actually really get to see that anymore. So, kind of helps it. Plus, it's got the truck damage and all the other ins and outs under it. And digital gauges, gears. It's got my range on, you know, on literally everything. So, pretty cool. Uh, you know, I don't know. If, you know what? I am in DX11. That might be part of my problem today. Um, I don't. I don't really run. I don't, I don't run advanced couple of trailing because a lot of times some of the trailers I have, a lot of them don't run right, but at any rate, anyway. Oh, okay, well, all right. All right, so that's going to be it for today. So let me go ahead and run to our, uh, let's see, let me get to this screen. So I've got a few things planned this week. Um, we've got another, uh, we're actually going to do a giveaway on the Freightliner. That one's courtesy of Sharpie357. He came in, donated in our last live stream. So we'll be giving away a Freightliner FL, uh, which, uh, Classic XL, which $15 value absolutely superb truck so we'll probably do a little build and drive on that we'll build us up a really like really nice nice tall classic xl um you know almost like a fleet styled vehicle but anyway we'll have that on there um that's gonna be uh i don't know if it'll be tomorrow um i'm gonna try to stream tomorrow but if not it'll definitely be wednesday or thursday or friday all three of those days i'm gonna try to work some streams in there um so you guys will be able to check those out um and if server gets fixed we're going to be looking at some rec fest this week as well um, just because that game is going to be awesome multiplayer, but I'm waiting on the Trotto to do that. So. Mark Griffin there. Thank you there for the subscription. Appreciate that, Mark. Um, and then so we'll be doing that. KO, what's up, man? Yes, it will give away. We'll give, we'll give away for the uh, Freightliner uh, Classic XL on whichever day we see it. So if you see a Freightliner Classic XL, like a early 90s model, if you see that in the, uh, in the thumbnail, then come on. We're going to be giving away a free trailer. So... Uh, and it'll be open for everybody since that was given by Sharpie. Um, then he said, hey, this is for the channel. 
for you guys to do it. So I said, well, I appreciate that, man. So super nice to have him do that. Um, so anyway, I will, uh, we'll have a fleet. We'll try to do fleet drives and I may wind up doing some of these during the middle of the week. I don't know. It just depends if we've got enough content to kind of keep, keep it fresh on the road. Um, uh, but I am also, it's a good thing that Mr. Cash Shadow Walker came in. So he's got some new stuff out as well. He's got some big old heavy, heavy, heavy oversized stuff that I, I want to get in and get pulling. He's also got a brand new truck out and also got a really awesome old school cab over Mac F700 that I absolutely love. So, uh, is that day uh c day to yeah maybe i'm just reading that wrong let's see day to daytona daytona go see daytona go two is that right see daytona go i think that's right that was crazy but anyway thank you there for that so appreciate it man um steering wheel giveaway uh i'll have to uh yeah that would be up to thrustmaster on that one uh there's no way i can i can support a uh <laughs> There's no way I could do a steering wheel giveaway. I would love to, uh, but it, maybe that's something that eventually maybe we can work that in with Thrustmaster. That would be great. Don't know if it's going to happen, but you know, hey, we'll uh, <clears throat> nudge and elbows here. Anyway, uh, but thank you guys. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us, man. It's been a great stream. Uh, a nice little salt and pepper, a little spice tonight, which is always a good thing. So it's kind of fun to get back at you guys every now and again, since y'all stay on top of me, not in a weird way, not in a bad way. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. Cascaded 20, anything? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not a big fan of that. For, uh, that. Uh, I would probably drive the Volvo one, then everybody would be mad because I had a different one than they did. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, we'll figure out what we're going to drive. I got a classic XL and also got that 9300 International from KI. Um, as well as his Mac F700, which I still absolutely love. So we got three really nice trucks coming up here either this week or the beginning of. We'll maybe drive a few of those here this week. Um, but there's some really good stuff coming. So um, can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, I will see you guys here next stream. Probably, possibly be tomorrow, but more than likely it's going to be Wednesday. And I'll try to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll stay in it to win it uh, here at the end of this week. Hopefully Convoy on Saturday, as long as nothing goes wrong like I did this weekend. But anyway, um, that's it, guys. I will see you all here in the next video or live stream. We'll see you guys. Peace out.